You know all those popular Facebook quizzes? How to find out what, what celebrity do you look like? What, really, what career should you really have? Right. Apparently, they could put your privacy at risk. So, of course, David Quinlan, he's alerting us to this cause. He's with the Better Business Bureau. Okay, what in the world? I We've know. all clicked on those. I know, it's hard to believe. What's your spirit animal? You know? <laughs> What's my spirit animal? Exactly. I think I clicked on that very one. So, yeah, I, it, they, they seem innocent enough, these online quizzes, um, but what we're finding is that there are a number of these quizzes that are actually being mined by big data companies. <sighs> um, and some are more invasive than others. We've seen situations where these quizzes become these data privacy death traps where Ooh. you literally uh, give away, give access to your personal information to potentially hackers. So they'll be able to go into your Facebook account, they'll look at your photos, they'll look at your history, they'll look at your contacts, your family, your friends, and collect that information. <gasps> so it's scary stuff. Um, Oftentimes, if it's scammers or if it's someone else that's doing anything illegal, they take that data and they will go and turn around and sell it to someone else. So you get a bunch of spam emails and advertisers reaching out to you. And you really do. I, you had told me, you said, look at my privacy settings, right, on yes. Facebook. I'm trying to find out there, and then who can see my profile? And you said that there should be a list of a ton of yes. people that you said no. I know, because I went through my privacy settings, and you have to go in there and actually look at all the um, apps that you've given access to. And I'm embarrassed to say, but I, I've done these quizzes, and I was looking at it, you know, the other day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got about half dozen um, vendors or outside groups that I've never heard of that now suddenly had access to my account. So I went in there, deleted those, blocked yeah. them. Um, so be careful when you're online and they, you know, you want to take mm -hmm. this quiz or you want to take some poll and they ask you to log in through your Facebook yeah. account. I wouldn't do that if I were you. That's really good to know. You, I, at first, when you see that, you think it's harmless, but then you realize more and more as you do, most stores and things right. now are letting you log in through. Yep. Kind of scary. Um, any other tips or this season? Sure. No, I, mean, I, th I think the big thing with, the, um, you know, with, with social media is mm -hmm. that you've got to be really careful about what you put out there. Um, so a good rule to remember is that if you don't want a stranger to know your personal information, don't put it on Facebook. So yeah. your address, your phone number, when you're out of town, mm -hmm. um, any personal information, just because you think you're only sharing it with your friends, um, there's a good chance that outside parties can, can see that information and it could impact you in a bad way. Oh, it's such good information. I can't believe yeah, I have to give up I quizzes. How will I ever know what I'm supposed to be there's in my past life? There's legitimate ones out there, but yeah, you kind of have to resist the urge. Oh. It'll be tough.